Welcome to Art Matters. I'm Anke van Wagenberg. I'm the senior curator at the Academy Art Museum in Easton, Maryland. And I'm today talking with Pauletta Romina. Welcome to the Academy Thank Art you. Museum. It's wonderful to have you here. Um, and to have the artist here at the beginning of the show is such a thrill for us. And uh, I'm just completely in awe with, with you and your work. And I'm so happy to, to share this with our audience and um, I'd love to hear a little bit more about how you make these wonderful uh, photographs that are inspired by 17th century artists, right? Great. Well, thank you, Anka, uh -huh. for inviting me here uh -huh. and having my first solo mm -hmm. show here at the museum. And you did a beautiful job. It looks really fantastic. Well, you did a beautiful I'm job. It's easy to be very, very proud <laughs> to, to be here in the museum. Yeah. It's great to work with great artists, and this was such beautiful, beautiful material. And I think it's maybe interesting for people to know, people always ask me how do these shows come about, and um, I read Art News two and a half years or so mm -hmm. ago, and I saw a photo of yours in there. I think it was just one photo, and I was so impressed, it was so gorgeous, and I, I contacted you, and you welcomed me in your studio, and I, I think we, we picked it up from there. Yes. And, uh, and you had, we're making all these fantastic photos. And I had just finished a series of a bodegon, um, mm -hmm. which means uh, from the pantry. And mm -hmm. I remember I had this fabulous piece of American ham. Yes. And, um, <laughs> and so Fred and we, mm -hmm. and we shared it together. So. It was wonderful because I think you had just uh, stopped, uh, you, you were just finished uh, shooting. Right. And then you said, do you want a, do you want a piece of ham? Right. <laughs> it was so... Uh, and that sort of broke the ice so completely. And, and then we talked over the last two years, up to a couple of weeks ago, right. about what exactly what the show would look like. And I'm so happy you have two of the largest galleries at the museum. And we have a wonderful variety of these bodegon still lives, but also something like this behind us. So can you tell us a little bit how, how you created this? Right, well that was from a series of flowers, fish, and mm -hmm. fantasies. Mm -hmm. And I had seen this amazing, um, very, very large painting over in Sotheby's uh -huh. where I'd been working. Yes. And, and it had um, goldfish in it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I, that's a very big challenge. And so I decided that I would do a series with goldfish. Oh, then was the, what you saw was a painting? It or was, a, it was, it was a, actually, it was a, a very large painting. Oh, OK. And okay. so I went out and I bought some um, goldfish, bought a huge tank, and mm -hmm. I set off one summer to shoot this series. Great. And um, it was sort of how I was feeling that summer, a little bit of a fish out of water. A fish out of water. <laughs> and, and, do you, and you worked also as a prop manager in Hollywood on yes. several films. Is that yes. how you find the shells and all these well, different you know, objects? Well, working mm -hmm. on, on seven movies, um, it, I became very resourceful mm -hmm. you know, trying to find that one particular prop uh -huh. um, that an actor has to mm -hmm. touch or, or use. And yeah. so I think because of working in the movie business and creating food scenes yes. for the movies, you really have to be very um, authentic. Of um, course. Authenticity is really important. Yeah. And just finding that one perfect mm -hmm. prop yeah. for the movie. And so I think it really helped me mm -hmm. when I started the series seven, eight years ago. Mm -hmm to yeah. resource different props and Yeah, it's great. And, 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 and I think I also, um, I think I loaned you some objects too, Yes, right? I did. I, I was, I was in, in the show. You had asked me to do a Vanita series for yes. the museum, mm -hmm. and I had been planning on it myself as well, so it was a perfect combination. And I remember last year at this time, mm -hmm. I came to visit the museum at right. a beautiful yeah. exhibition mm -hmm. of Rubens. Mm -hmm. And I came to your house for dinner, and I saw this cupboard with <laughs> wonderful Dutch artifacts. Mm -hmm. And so you very kindly um, let me borrow a, a candle yeah. snuffer and this yeah. wonderful pot that is now in one of my vanitas. Yeah, and, 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 yeah. and you mentioned the word vanitas, and uh, that's also in the book that just came out. Yes. And your first huge, it's a big and beautiful yes. book uh, by published by the Monticelli, by the Monticelli Press. Monticelli yeah. Press, and we have an amazing, uh, fabulous essays, one of course by you on, on the mysteries <laughs> of, of Vanitas. Yes, yeah. Um, so maybe this is a good 
moment to explain what vanitas is there. Um, pieces that remind people of the brevity of life. Right, right. I and mean, you can't take it with you, basically. Exactly. All these worldly yeah. possessions, we can't yes. take, take them with us. Yeah. And in one of them, you've also, you. I think there's a small Latin phrase that people can yes, search it's, for. Yes, it's, it's in uh -huh. that same um, uh -huh. photograph. Um, uh -huh. I had seen this old master painting years ago when I was researching the Vanitas, and uh -huh. It has a little cartouche, and it says in Latin, Aram quote S, meaning, I was where you are now, oh. basically. And so I decided to um, put in that, mm -hmm. that photograph the same little cartouche yes. with that yeah. in it. And basically, it, it, sort of, um, it sort of becomes a thread in art history yes. to sort of connect us all. From the artists in the 16th century, mm -hmm. uh, the 1600s, um, you know, to right now, it's there are all these different historic threads that, that mm -hmm. link us. So. Well, it, it's uh, I'm, I'm I'm as I said, I'm thrilled. I'm happy. I'm, I think people will really enjoy it. And this exhibition is also going on to the Snipe Museum yes, in Vienna. In so it's in traveling Vienna. from this is the first location where it will be the first venue. And then it goes on, and I think to possibly to another couple of museums that after that. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Yeah, I just have to thank the mm -hmm. museum. Anka, you mm -hmm. did an extraordinary job. Well, uh, it's it's easy if to work with with great work and great artists. And um, the show will be up until July 10th here in Easton. And uh, we also have um, a couple of curator tours. While you go back in New York, I'll lead people around, and those are taking place on uh, May 4th, on the Wednesday, at 12 noon, and the second one is on June 15th, also at 12 noon. And at the same time, we have uh, the books, your books will be available, you'll sign a lot of copies, I think, for people, they can be purchased here at the museum, and they're, they're beautiful. And at the same time, we also have opening uh, today, on April 22nd, a Peter Milton, Living Old Master exhibition, as well as Brooke Rogers in the offing. This was Art Matters. Thank you for watching.